Welcome back everybody. This is part three and the final part of our pocket size altered file folder. So <clears throat> just a little recap. We've not done the front. We have created this pocket, filled it with a few bits of ephemera. Over here we've made a uh, flap that opens up so there can be some writing. We're going to leave this place so that a photo could be added here or you know you could add some more pockets if you wanted but I like the option of having a couple of blank spots for photos. We've left this blank. We've put four pockets here two large tags and then the two small ones within these. And now um, I was thinking a belly band so that's where we're going to head with this because I still like the idea of that. So what I've done for the belly band and you know if you've followed me for a while you know I like to have these layered um, page adornments or belly bands and what I do is just combine bits of fabric with paper. I've got old music sheet. I've got some digital. And then I love this little vintage uh, bit of fabric. I bought that from uh, Susie's shop at the Creative Soul. Uh, not Creative Soul. Um, Creative Girl. Y years gone back. Um, I ordered some from her when I was in the U.S. And I love that because it's that really soft pink. So I've just stitched, stitched, stitched because that kind of um, <clears throat> reinforces it so it's not so floppy with the fabric. So we're just going to add that there. But before I do that, I forgot my daughter got me these years and years ago. If you're familiar with Stampin' Up! you'll remember when they used to have these little um, embosslets. And this was the sweet buttons. And what it does is it cuts and embosses at the same time. And I had forgotten about this. And when I spotted, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get that out and put it up on my desk because it still looks like a button. But obviously you don't have the thickness. And that really lends itself to this project in particular because we don't want this to get too bulky. So you can see up close, look at all the... Um, texture that you get from that. I love it. Love that little um, that little die. So I'm just going to put just going to distress because it'll pull those details out a little bit more. Just going to distress three and I've got three set to the side that we may add here and there. So Let's just go ahead and have it strong glue. Hmm, I'll try it. This is the art glitter glue. It, it'll probably hold that paper. I uh, better not risk it. I'll, I'll stick with the fabric tack just to make sure. I was trying to avoid opening this because I've got my window closed today. Because um, when I film, I try to keep the window closed. I've got a very... Uh, you know, one of those moms that likes to scream at her kids all day. <laughs> That's our neighbor. Yay. <laughs> so I thought, oh, when I'm, when I'm videoing, it's best if I keep the window closed. Otherwise, you're going to hear, Piper, Piper. Yeah, it's, um, it's not nice. <laughs> Funny, the, um, uh, they, different names that they name the children here. Uh, well, they're different to me. Maybe you guys have heard. But Nigel's very common. Piper. Poppy. Uh, it's very, very different to the names that... Um, but I like them, but it's, you don't want to hear it 10,000 times in a day. <laughs> and with a screechy voice. <laughs> Okay, so let me show you that just up close. And look how nice and thin. Yay! Because I am i don't want this to get too bulky because I want this to be... I think these are 
suited for happy mail within your country because it'll still be quite expensive internationally because it'll go as a small package but um, happy mail I think this would be awesome in Christmas um, colors as I said for a little stocking stuffer for somebody so we're just going to leave that let that dry because uh, we'll come back and add a couple of little journal cards or this and that okay so we've got that in place. I'll deal with that in a bit. Now here, hmm, some more of these, um, the pie on paper that I've got left over. I'm just going to make a little tuck there because I dug around and I found this, um, I think this is, Ephemers, Ephemers Vintage Garden. I could be wrong, guys, but that was a printable I found in my stash, and I really <clears throat> want to dwindle this stuff down, and it really suits itself to this. So, all I'm going to do with this is just distress it a little bit more on the edges, and then glue that down. So, but you can see, um, there's, I mean, you could add. <clears throat> so many flips to this, but I'm keeping it fairly simple from the point, you know, because I, I know I'm going to be mailing this out, so I don't want to get too crazy with it, but if you, oh goodness, sorry guys, my glue wasn't ready this morning. Um, gosh, you could add so <clears throat> so many flips to this if you want to. Okay, we're having issues. <laughs> oh, isn't it just always the way? I I really do think these are pretty good little bottles. It's just every now and then I've got to uh, run a pin down in there. And, and if you're wondering, because I get asked this all the time where I got these, just put fine tip uh, bottles in the search and you should have no trouble finding that. Come on now, are you going to work with me? Oh dear, I don't know. Didn't do enough yesterday, I guess. It's, let me see if I can unblock this, guys. Yeah, I should have checked all this before I started filming, but... Um, you think you've covered all your bases, but clearly, clearly not. I don't know. Ah, there she comes. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm just going to get that really close to the edge there because this is quite a large journal card. I want to make sure that's going to fit without, yeah, that's no problem like that. I'm not going to add that just yet because I want all this stuff to get glued down nice. Um, okay, we'll come back to that. Embellishments will be last, guys. I just want to get the, <clears throat> the main pockets and things in. Okay, so if you got any questions about anything, just leave a Leave it in the comments below, and I'll try to address anything. So here, <clears throat> I want a side pocket. I was debating between the, which side I wanted to do that on, but I've decided to go here. And what I've done, I have two weights of cardstock that I'm working with. This one is about a 200 GSM, so it's a little bit thicker. And then this one, I believe, is 100, so it's not much thicker than copy paper. Um, it was ordered in error, but I have to say it's actually ended up being very beneficial because for projects like this, um, it's less bulk. So I'm, well, I've die cut this. This is one of the Tim Holtz wildflowers. And I want to have this sandwich between and that's going to form a pocket. So 
the next thing I'm going to do is just get that glued to that and then I'll cut off the excess around that and then like I said once we've got everything in that we want I'm going to then come back and see how much embellishing I could do without it just getting ridiculously thick. <laughs> And I may have to stop this abruptly today, guys, because our milk will be delivered, and he usually hits the, the door bell, so I may have to stop and go down and sort that out, because he's picking up the packaging today. We, um, we drink raw milk, and... Uh, We've been about a month without it because they had a little bit of an incident. You know, they're, they're super strict on people who are selling raw milk. And um, so they have a little bit of a incident and they, sh you know, they, they you can't uh, sell anything until it's all cleared. Which is good, you know, I can understand it, but they do seem to be particularly hard on these little little farms who are trying to do things more natural. So um, we're trying to support them and as much as we can. <clears throat> it's a little bit more money, but the health benefits make it worth it, in my opinion. And uh, Paul and I both, we feel so much better. I mean, in so many ways. If you're interested in it, guys, do some research. It might not be available to you because I know it varies uh, country by country and within your country, state by state. Um, like I said to you, it's it's definitely a it's a big deal for us, and it will d probably determine where we base ourselves back in the U.S. on whether that is available or not because um, yeah, the, the health benefits are, are so unreal if you start looking into it. Okay, I'm liking that. That looks really sweet. Okay, so what we're going to do here... Oh, you know what? Let's round the corners. Just for kicks, let's round the corners. And actually, uh, actually, I'm going to run over to the machine. I want some stitching on this, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, that's how it looks now that it's been stitched around. <clears throat> little bit more ink there. So yeah, last night we had a, um, my, sorry about my throat today guys, last night we had a little fire in the back um, and uh, the smoke, ugh, getting old stinks, the smoke started to irritate my throat so yeah it's a bit scratchy again this morning. I hope that's not going to get to the point where I can't have campfires because, oh, you know I love to be out in front of the campfire. So, but yeah, that was a shame. It probably wouldn't have been so bad if we'd have been outside the whole time, but the dining room, we had the, the doors open and it was coming in while we were playing a game. We play um, Catan every evening now because the TV is just so garbage. And um, so I was sitting right there by the door and it was coming right in. So it may be outside. It probably wouldn't have been affected me as much. Um, okay, so where 
where are we now? Kind of like that. This was made for a different project, but I kind of like that. That might work there. All right, I'm happy with that. Okay, so over here, I have actually decided I'm going to do another little flip. So, um, so I've measured this out. <clears throat> Gosh, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't think it would be bothering me this bad. Obviously, you're going to want to measure yours just in case it, it is slightly different. But this is five and a quarter by two inches. And um, I've just covered it with some paper on two pieces. <clears throat> and I've just sandwiched, I'm going to sandwich a little hinge in there. And then I'm going to make this a flipping. A flipping pocket, <laughs> um, and then I'll I'll make that into two. But I think let me just do one thing at a time because I'm getting ahead of myself. So that's going to be glued to that. So this is the one I got a sandwich. Now, in all fairness, you wouldn't have to do this step if I had been thinking. Just add like an extra inch onto your piece and then score down it and you can have a, a ready-made hinge but I would just brain cells weren't working so that's why I've had to do this extra little step so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna glue actually I'm not gonna glue that I'm going straight to the machine guys to put this back on and I'm gonna stitch three sides and then straight down the middle again but before I do that let me grab my punch before I do that let me just try to center this uh, you know what I better mark this with a ruler yeah okay let me find the center and then I'm going to, because I want to make sure I get this right. Pin, 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 pin. Okay. Sometimes you can eyeball things, but I don't think the way things are going this morning, I'm going to risk it. So there's my center. I'm going to do it on this side so it doesn't show. That's my center there. There's probably an easier way to do this, guys, but I'm terrible with math. So bear with me. You're probably sitting there thinking, oh, Gina, you could do this so much easier. That's about right. Oops. Gosh. I'm hoping. I'm hoping, hoping I got that right. Yeah, it looks about right. Gosh, I hope I got that center. Like I said, most of the time I eyeball it, but because I've got... I hope I've done that right, guys. <laughs> Ah, it makes me so nervous. Okay, let me just go ahead and ink that slightly. And then I'll run it to the machine. And get some nice stitching on that. And then we'll start coming in and spruce it up with a, with a few things without adding bulk is what I'm hoping. Do a little bit on this one as well. Just snipping off that little extra bit. Alright, 
so I want it. Let me get my little binder back over here. There we go. Come on. All right, so got to make sure I get this the right way when I sew that. Yeah, I think that, and then that'll flip over so that if you wanted another photo, that gives two spaces for a photo or adding whatever else. Okay, guys, I'll be back. All right, now you can see what it looks like now that it's been stitched. I did two lines of stitching here just to kind of reinforce that because there will be a lot of pulling in and out, I guess, on that with the, the little tags. So the other thing I thought, <clears throat> I'll just try to do a little decorative. I don't know if I can get that. Yeah, I'm hoping that will work. This punch... Um, I've got issues with it now, so I, I hope this won't just get hung up in there. Ugh, it did. Ah, there we go. Alrighty, that's okay. Just, um... Uh, Just wanted it to be a little bit more decorative. Alrighty, back to it here. Yeah. Okay, I've got to trim a little bit off the bottom. That's going to bug me. Just a hair. Okay, looking good, looking good. Glue, glue, glue. Where's the glue? Oh gosh. Ah, there it is. Okay. Let's get this down. And hopefully that's not going to have um, bulked that out too, too much. So let's just have a look. where we are now with the thickness on this. Oh yeah, look at that still. Ooh, yes, okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, <clears throat> we've got place, oh actually we've got two blank. Hmm, might have to come back because that, that's three, four blank spaces. Mm, yeah, it's a bit much, isn't it? So I think we better I'm going to leave that because I want that to be flat because you got your writing. I think here we're going to have to come up with maybe, I don't know, something. I just feel like three spaces is just a little bit too empty. Alright, so here, just trying to see would that fit. And these are little off cuts from other projects. And I don't know found that somewhere so I might add that there and then I think a little tag here of some sort actually I may have a tag hang on guys yeah I've actually got a little tag already so okay so we'll save that we can probably add that in somewhere journal card was going to go here, and then I kind of liked that. I don't know, does that really go with that? I think I'll change that and put like a flower or something, I, 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 but I do like the little index card, so, okay, so I'll make that. Um, I thought this was a piece of embossed, just trim that down. And maybe back that with some tea dyed papers, my thinking on that, to make a nice big journal card. So, okay, let's do that and then see where we are. Okay, here's some more little printables. 
if you're not familiar with, I'm going to put this up close. Because uh, I cannot pronounce her shop name, guys. There it is. Ear Lajama. Ear Lama Sha Shop. She does lots of little shabby chic things. So I've printed out, because look at that, it's a little weekly planner, and I just did nine to a page. Because I thought, how oh, that'd be cute to have a couple of those in. So let me cut those out quickly. Um, and just add those to it because I think they're really, really pretty. You know what, I'm just going to I'm gonna punch this. I think this would be cute just to have these tied together with some of my linen thread here. Oh boy, guys, I've got a mess in this room. All right, now, the other thing I want to do is add a little tag. And I like the idea of that little circle one with the heart because this is shabby daddy chic. chic. All right. Yeah, I think I started on something else, didn't I? But we'll get back to it, hopefully. All right, where's my, sorry, uh, looks like we're having some power issues here today, guys, so I hope I'm not about to lose, lose power. If I do, I'll have to, I'll have to record this later. All right, let's get this tied on. I want a little charm. So I've got a button charm, or I've got the little metal heart. I think the heart might be sweet there. I'll save that because I'll probably use that as well. So, put a little... A little heart charm here. Let me make sure I get this on right. So today, guys, it's supposed to be pretty warm here. That's why I'm going to try to get <clears throat> some work in this morning. Because by the afternoon, you cannot even stand to be up here. We were going to get a, um, a portable air conditioner unit, but... We don't want to really spend the money on it, guys, because we've just put in for Paul's visa. And they're saying it's going to take about a year, but we don't even know if, if, if it'll be back in that amount of time. So, um, everything is just, yet again, on hold. Um because I want to get home. I want to get home for a lot of reasons. Um, so there's a big, big push now, and I'm just praying that it just goes on through and there's no issues, but at the moment they're not even processing anything with all this coronavirus so um, 
So yeah, if you could be praying about it, it would be very much appreciated because I'm st I just I want to get home. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to go into everything, but yeah, I need to be home. Okay. Oh, look at that. Not sweet. I love that. Okay, so now I want to do a little Rolodex card. Let me see if I've got one cut. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm hoping I've got one of those already cut. Otherwise, I'll have to stop and... Yeah, I do. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just a little bit of light stamping on that. Um, so yeah, you know, there's nothing bad <laughs> in the sense of, you know, everybody is okay at the moment with the family. Um, it's just other things. I just <clears throat> am feeling like I need to be back with my family. So yeah, that's why everything is just feeling very much on hold. And these are things... I don't mind sharing here. It's not stuff I would open up about on uh, YouTube because, um, yeah, I'm having a lot of problems, guys, with social media at the moment. And, oh, you know what? Why not? Why not? I'm going to put him there. Um, so, uh, I'm... <coughs> I, I, I'm not, you know, I don't really like drama. <laughs> I don't think anybody does. Well, that's not true. There are some people who just seem to thrive on it. Um, but yeah, I'm having a lot of uh, things happening in the background, so I'm limiting my time on uh, YouTube and Facebook. And just a heads up, guys. Facebook, I'm going to be getting rid of uh, very, very soon. I'm just, I'm just, I've got a couple of things kind of ongoing right now. And it's, once that's resolved, um, because I've had my account hacked several times over the last year, um, but um, there's been some personal attacks going on, and uh, I'm just not into all that stuff. So I'm not, you know, I'm not going to even talk about it because nobody wants to hear all this garbage with everything going on. Okay, I'm liking that. It's simple, but I actually really think it's pretty in a very simple way. Hmm. I don't know, it might not be your cup of tea. I think, you know, everybody's different, aren't they? But I think sometimes simple stuff just appeals to me. I like that. I'm not going to do anything else to that, to be honest. I think that's pretty the way it is. All right, so I actually am just going to tuck that back here, kind of peeking through. Oh, you know what? I will put a little stamp there. Let me do something nice there. I think I think believe is the word for today. Believe. Believe things will get better. Yeah. There we go. There we go. And that, I think, well, it would be nice if it was seen, wouldn't it? Hmm, because if I tuck it in, hmm. Okay, maybe that's not the spot for that. Maybe. That's quite nice, isn't it? Okay, that's where that's going to go. So, got to do something different there. All right, let me sort this out, guys. And Okay. 
Next thing I want to do, I definitely, definitely want, I think that would be pretty, but I have to trim that down. All right, let me see if I can trim this down a bit. Um, so yeah, so that's um, kind of where my head is at the moment, so um, you may have, or you may not have noticed, you know, that I'm not been as active on Instagram or Facebook, but um, there's just other stuff happening. We've got, um, we've got our hands full with Paul, Paul's mother at the moment, she's, um, challenge. So there's just so many things guys and like I said it's uh, you can only take so much so I've had to just <clears throat> prioritize what I can cope with and what I can't and uh, I just can't be bothered with all this garbage on you know with people just nonsense that's all I'm gonna say. So, I want to get home. <laughs> I, I love it here. I do, guys. But I want to be back home with my family and uh, try to get through these tough times with, uh, with people that uh, care about me. And uh, so that's, that's the priority right now. So please be praying that um, the doors will be opened up. Alright, so I'm going to now back this and stitch it because I want it to be another little writing space within. And we're going to stamp that quickly. I think that little bird would be pretty in, in here. So let's do him. Look at him. Isn't he sweet? He's really sweet. I'm going to stitch him as well. Alright, let me run to the machine, guys. And uh, I'll be back. Okay, guys. I am back. And now we're just going to... I'm going to add him there. That will flip over. I think I want that left blank for whatever and then I've done the little this is the little journal card it's been embossed and I went ahead and stamped because I love that little stamp yeah I get a lot of questions over that guys that was an unbranded stamp I bought years ago so <clears throat> I'm sorry I can't guide you on where you could get it because I've had so many folks um, asking me about that. Okay, so this was an extra from uh, the pie and papers that I want to tuck into something. So I'm inclined to do another small pocket here and then just tuck that in. So let's do that. Wonder if I could use. Might be pretty with some. Um, you know what I think I'll do. I'm gonna put that on too, because I've still got some of this scrap paper. Let's cut them down and just see what we can come up with. What can we come up with? Because I can trim that back. Okay, guys, uh, had to stop that again. I'm sorry. All right, so cut that. Oh, yeah, I've decided I want to incorporate that piece. So let me get a little bit more ink here. And then we'll 
<clears throat> I'm going to sew all this together. Because that's kind of a thin piece there. I want to make sure this is going to be a sturdy little pocket. And then we'll start filling this in and with some cards and things. And I found this little bit, and look at the little birds. And uh, I thought, well, I'll layer that as well. So I think what I want to do is get that stitched down. And then I think I'm going to come back with a couple more of the little tiny buttons and add to that. Yeah, I'm glad I found this. I must start using these things I've got. I'm terrible about that. If I don't see it, I forget about it. <clears throat> Alright, so just put that there and then I can trim it off. And then we can add a few things. Okay guys, I'm going to run this. I want to get some stitching on this again, so I'm going to run this to the machine. Actually, let me glue it down a little bit, because I don't want to do a lot of crazy stitching on it. So let me go ahead and glue this. Okay, I'm going to go to the machine and run that through, and I'll be back.